Okay, people, trying to make this the quickest uh, example of using Edge Impulse. Now, I always start with Edge Impulse, uh, say what it is. So this is paint and brush, and uh, I always give things a version number. So I create it. It's created. We have to actually go to it. Uh, where did that one go? Paint and brush. And then these three lines are the important area. We got to hook up a device, and so connect a new device and show the QR code. Okay, there we go. And here we are, so I can get out of that. I want to start collecting images, and so it installs, and we are going to go do around and do this. So here's our set of um, brushes. Here's our set of paint. We need to give this a label, so this one is going to be paint. Typically, we do an unknown, but I'm not doing that this time. In fact, I'm not even trying to make a good uh, model. All I want to do is show you how ridiculously easy Okay, now we've got to come over here. Uh, why can't I change that label? There we go. Uh, this is now brush. Okay, I just lost your light from the room. Uh, okay, now back here. So that's it. We've collected our uh, stuff. Then just go to data acquisition. Check that stuff is there. Uh, wait a sec. Data acquisition. Let's just find one of these images. Looks great. Okay, so now we're going to create our impulse. And I'm just going with the defaults here. It's going to do a 96 by 96. Sounds great. It's squashing it. Uh, I'm just going to grab the little star means kind of the one you probably should do, although you have free power to do whichever one you want. Notice it's got brush and paint, so we save that. Great. Our impulse is now saved. Now we have to um, train it. So first of all, here are your parameters. And let's just double check that we're doing color here. RGB, that's color. That's great. Um, but we need to generate features. So let's go ahead, generate some features. Or some, there we go, job completed. Now we're gonna go to transfer learn. Oh, I didn't show you the feature explorer, but not super important at the moment because we're gonna see it again. Now, 10, number of training cycles, I don't think so. Let's go with 300. Da, da, da. We could adjust these layers and change it around, but once again, just going with the defaults, just to get a sense of how to do these uh, edge impulse models. Um, okay, so let's move around, we've started it. This Okay, so that's complete. What it's actually been doing, if we go back to the dashboard, is it's saving um, models that you've made, the machine learning models. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to classification, and that's building the project. Download deployment. Maybe I'll say I'm connected. Now we're going to do access it. That's probably why it's not connected. There we go. So I can either start sampling here, and that's what you would have to do if you were doing microphone or any of those other ones, but I'm just going to try uh, classifying something I never did take a picture of, and let's go to this. The classification was uh, brush, 0.97. That's awesome. So let's go try and classify some other thing that never was originally sampled. And here we have paint. So let's try another one. This one, I never even used that exact color, and it's getting paint. So this is the best ever model I've ever done. Let's try to get a brush, another brush that was never trained. And brush. Okay, so this is just awesome. One last thing I want to show you, though, is in the transfer training, the thing that we did that took quite a while, uh, two things. One is this, the confusion matrix, which you can see is pretty darn good. Don't expect to get great results like that. I'm just getting better and better at this. And the other one is the feature explorer. And what's really cool about the feature explorer is you see how these are definitely separated. The brushes down here, there's only two that's even questionable. Well, there's only one here. This one's slightly questionable, but you could go and have a look at the data. And if there are any red dots here, those are ones that were classified incorrectly. Now, the part I'm not covering today is deployment. Um, say you wanted to build this on OpenMV or on Arduino or HiMax. Um, we did a color uh, train. You might want to do grayscale for OpenMV or HiMax. But all you do is choose Arduino and choose whether it's int 8. That's better quantization, which means the model's smaller. And then you build it, and that's a whole other story. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this.